Where in the Heart is Tiffany, where we talk about travel, lifestyle, and mental health. Follow us on Instagram at Sweet Tiffies, Twitter at Sweet Tiffies, Facebook Sweet Tiffies Inspirations, and Tiffany-Travel.com. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.
I love food, Wonderful. Let's test it out. Oh, they are, they're actually really soft <laughs> compared to the regular seats down here. So check out the VIP section. So these are like, I guess, expensive seats right here because you can see the sidelines really well. So, look at these seats. about the SoFi Stadium, which I think is super, super cool. So let's get straight into it. Okay, number one, the field is 100 feet below a ground. Isn't that crazy? That's That seems very deep. Um, so it's close to the airport, which I mentioned earlier. And so it cannot exceed the FFA flight restricted areas, which is why they had to build so deep underground. So yeah, that's one cool fact. Our number two cool fact is the roof is the roof the roof is on fire. The roof the roof is really on fire. Sorry y'all. Um, the roof is above and beyond. Um, so the cool thing is if you're flying on a flight, especially at nighttime, it's all lit up, so you can actually see it from your flight. 
And I'm so mad at myself because I didn't realize that this was a possibility. So I'm flying over the SoFi Sam. By the time I got my camera out, I didn't catch a SoFi Sam sign. So the next time I fly into LA, I'm going to remember to make sure to keep my camera out, okay? And the reason why it's lit up because it has 27,000 embedded LED plugs um, on the exterior. So that's why you can see from the airplane. All right, number three, it is surrounded by water, right? And although the water is beautiful, it's not just because of the water. It's actually because if you don't know, in LA, we have earthquakes literally all the time. Um, I think we have them so much that I'm not even scared of them anymore. I know that's crazy, but yes. Um, so they call it a seismic moat. Um, so it's 12 feet wide and 100 feet deep. Um, it's basically the stadium safe when there's an earthquake. So yeah, cool fact. Um, number four, the design keeps you cool. So make sure you bring a jacket because if you're at a later game, it will get a little nippy in there. Um, the roof is open on three sides and there's always a cool breeze from the Pacific Ocean. Uh, but it can slide open and close due to weather conditions. Luckily, LA, we're pre we usually have pretty good weather. There's a song that says it doesn't rain in California. That's not all the way true, but we usually have good weather, but they're prepared in any case, okay? Um, our next fun fact, the video board. So the video board is 120 yards long and 2.2 million pounds of structure, but it's sharp and clear. So that means that you should be able to see that from wherever you're sitting as well as being able to see the game below. So that's something super, super cool. Um, another cool thing is that they have in there is they have different types of bars. So they have a champagne, a wine, a whiskey, and a tequila bar. And the cool thing is that the different places are named after streets in LA. So they have like Alvera Street and some other cool uh, street names. Um, and then another good thing is that any seat is actually a good seat. Obviously there are better seats, but you should be able to see pretty well from the seats that you have. Um, and the seating is not as bad as like a regular, you know how some of the seats are like super, super hard. The seating should be, uh, pretty good wherever you're sitting, but of course pay more for the cushiony seats. Okay. Um, and the stadium can hold about 70,000 people y'all. Um, so yeah, those are some cool fun facts about the stadium. I hope you enjoyed this tour and I hope you enjoyed learning about the fun facts. Hey, I have just seen a tour of the SoFi Stadium. It is located in Inglewood, California. Inglewood. Uh, if you guys are a little bit more familiar, familiar with LA, and it is literally um, not very far from the LAX airport. Um, so um, when I went, I went for tours. So you can definitely go for games. So disclaimer, I've never been to a game at the stadium but I have been on two separate tours. One was a VIP tour um, with the Black Girl Social Club, shout out to them. And then my second one was a just a regular tour, okay? Um, so a couple things to get us started or how do you even buy a ticket, okay? Um, so the first thing you do is you need to go online. You can just type in SoFi Stadium and um, the link will come up, but I'll put it in the description box. Go ahead and purchase your tickets. Your tickets will be purchased through Ticketmaster. Um, so they did make me have an account first and then be able to purchase the tickets. So there's like three different types when it comes to the tours. There's like a VIP tour. Um, there's something in the middle and there's a regular one. So let me go back a little bit. The regular tour, I think, was $30. Um, the next tour is maybe $39. And then the next one is maybe $49. Do not quote me. I'm going to give you all the correct prices. Um, but anyway, so um, for one of them, we just chose the regular one. And so the regular one will just get you the tour loan. The next stage will get you, I think, a digital photo. And then the next tier will get you a digital photo, the tour, and $15 towards either something to eat or something from the gift store. So you choose whatever one you would like, okay? Um, and um, so when you arrive at the stadium, 
Um, the best way to get in is Prairie and Arbor Vitae. Um, that's where you're going to enter in. Once you enter in, you'll tell them that you're there for the tour if that's what you're doing. And then the tour is usually parking lot in is where you're going to park. That's the closest one. You'll be kind of near the water. Um, and then you just kind of walk and you kind of follow the signs into the tour area. And this is American Airlines. That's kind of where that tour thing is at. Okay. Um, so of course, what can you do while you're at the stadium if you're on the tour? So they're going to take you a tour. They're going to just show you around the building, give you some fun facts, probably watch a video. You get a chance to go sit in the VIP section. Um, and then after you do the tour, then you will go into the field. So for me, y'all, the exciting part was the field experience. Um, yeah, the history is cool, but yeah, being on this actual field is really, really fun. Um, and so be sure that you look when you book your ticket because obviously the first one was a VIP tour, so we did the field experience, but our second tour didn't realize that there was like a scrimmage game for kids. So there was no field access because they were playing on the field. So make sure you are cognizant of when you're booking that particular ticket. Um, but if you are doing the field experience, you'll be able to chance to throw the football around. You'll be able to kick the field, the football into the field goal. Um, there's also where you can kind of like run on the sidelines. Um, they also have that thing where you can, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's like you run and you see how high you can um, hit these like little sticks. It's in the video. Um, so I personally think that the field experience is super, super cool. So make sure you experience that. And then also on that VIP tour, I went to the Kinsey Collection. It is African-American art and artifacts in there. Um, and that usually is before the field experience. So check that out. Um, I think it may be an extra like 15 bucks, but again, don't quote me. Y'all make sure y'all check out the website. Um, so yes, that is, um, basically how you enter, what you can do and how you can get your tickets.